Blackhawks and welcome to the Season of Love. On today's show, we'll be discussing rom-com reviews, taking a look into a local farm, and testing our students' knowledge of emo music. Stay tuned for all this and more on this year's Valentine's Day edition of the Blackhawk Buzz. Good morning, Blackhawks. I'm Gabby Moreno. And I'm Amelie Luster. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Blackhawk Black Buzz. This week, the counselors celebrated National School Counselor Week. The theme of this year's week was School Counselors Rock, setting the stage for success. Did you know that the school counselor's number one goal is to help you succeed? Whatever you need to be successful at school, whether that's learning to stay motivated to complete your work, having positive relationships with your fellow students, advocating for yourself or overcoming barriers, the school counselors have your back. Are you looking to get a special gift for a special friend this Valentine's Day? If you are, today's the last day Student Council will be selling crumble cookies and crush grams during both lunches. The cookies are $5 and the crush grams are $2. Stop by outside the Stuga room during both lunches to send a treat to your friend. Rom-coms are one of the most popular genres of movies. Isabel and Jackson went around and asked students what their favorite rom-coms are. Hey Blackhawks, welcome back to another episode of the Blackhawk Buzz. In honor of Valentine's Day being next week, I went around asking you Blackhawks which out of these four rom-coms are your favorite. Out of 50 First Dates, 500 Days of Summer, 10 Things I Hate About You, and How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Let's go. It's How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I like the like yellow dress scene where like, she walks in and she's like... And he's like... Oh. 10 Things I Hate About You because of... What's his name? Heath Ledger. Aww. 50 First Dates, because Adam Sandler's in it, and you know, he's a pretty good dude, and he's funny. 50 First Dates, for sure. It's a classic, you know, Adam Sandler, he's funny. Definitely How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, because Matthew McConaughey. Aww. 10 Things I Hate About You, because both of the main actors are hot. 10 Things I Hate About You, because the main guy is really hot. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, because Matthew McConaughey is so hot. 50 First Dates. I don't know, it's just good. 50 First Dates, because it's a classic. It's just a good family movie. Things I hate about you because I could rewatch it over and over and it won't get old. Ten things I hate about you because it's so cute and I love it. I think 50 First Date, um, it's really cute. The other ones are, anyways. I would say 10 things I hate about you because of the guy in it. Definitely 500 Days of Summer. It's a really good movie and it's just really fun. In conclusion, Blackhawks, we have 500 Days of Summer with one vote. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days with three votes. 50 first dates with five votes, and our winner of 10 Things I Hate About You with six votes. Now you know which movies to watch this Valentine's Day season. This has been Isabel and Jackson, now back to the studio. On Tuesday, the boys basketball team beat Campo Verde 55-50. The team ended their season on a four-game winning streak. Congratulations on a successful season, boys. Needing a little help on homework or studying for an upcoming quiz or test? Come to peer tutoring in the student union before or after school. NHS members are available to help. Tutoring is available every Monday through Friday before school starting at 6.50 a.m. and Monday through Thursday after school from 2.15 to 2.50. The girls soccer team beat Casa Grande 7-0 last Friday and Horizon 2-0 on Monday. The girls wrapped up their season yesterday against Centennial and we will update you with the scores next week. The girls basketball team wrapped up their season last Friday against Mountain Point 69-35. Next week, they host a home playoff game on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Congratulations, Blackhawks, and good luck in the playoffs. Congratulations to all student athletes who participated in National Signing Day, which took place this past Wednesday in the lecture hall. You and your family's dedication to academics and athletics serve as an inspiration to us all. Congratulations to the following students who signed with their respective universities. Good luck, and we look forward to following your athletic careers. Soda Rush will be at both lunches on February 9th, 23rd, and March 29th. Come out and support the Key Club in raising money for a good cause. Owning a small business often means getting up at the crack of dawn and heading to work. Jessa and Tara Lee asked top Williamsfield student Raina Hartquist what it's like to be a part of that business. 
Starting your own business can be a difficult process. Raina Hartquest, a student here at Williamsfield High School, dives into her own experience within this field. I'm Raina. I am a senior at Williamsfield High School and I am the daughter of the owners of Harquist Hollow Family Farm. So Harquist Hollow Farms is a ranch that we raise cattle, sheep, pigs, and we raise them all for meat. We go to local, we go to a couple farmers markets the we on the weekends and we sell it out of market. Harquist Hollow Farms, we do it all ourselves, so we raise the animals from start to finish. You know, we care for them, we nurture them, and then we do the processing ourselves, so we literally do it from start to finish, from birth to your table. It's all done by us. When starting your own business, there are many risks that can fall into place. Yeah, starting our own business was risky and it was really scary to quit our jobs and, and start something new. But we also knew that sometimes you have to take a big step out of your comfort zone and risk not being comfortable, risk being uncomfortable to know that there is something better waiting for you and it gives you an opportunity to grow as a person and see, you know, to push yourself and see what you're capable of doing. If you'd like to purchase from Harquest Hollow Farms, you can find them at the Gilbert's Farmer's Market, located in downtown Gilbert, on Saturdays from 8 to 12. That's all for today. Now back to the studio. Junior Taylor Kincaid has made history as the first female wrestler at Williamsfield to qualify for the state wrestling meet. Taylor finished third place at last week's sectionals. Congratulations, Taylor, and best of luck to all the girls at state wrestling meet today and tomorrow. Do couples really know each other as well as they believe? Mary and Sophia look for answers to this question as they ask a couple questions to couples about one another. Whether if you want to see them or not, couples are everywhere, especially here on campus. So we set out to see how well they really know each other. Where was your guys' first date? <laughs> oh, no. I'm right. What? That's what? crazy. We wrote the same thing. We went for my birthday. You took me oh, to I... math. <laughs> okay, so we barely talked for the first like couple minutes. No, it was way longer than a couple minutes. It was like ten minutes. Yeah, for a good ten minutes. The we only didn't thing talk. we said to each other, you said, "What's your favorite color?" What's your partner's favorite movie? <laughs> oh. You are right. She's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't talk about it. What's your partner's favorite music artist? Um. Correct. Yes, yes and yes. Hey! Look at us go. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. What's your partner's favorite hobby? <laughs> Okay, I was gonna do a funny too. <gasps> this has been Sophia and Mary. Now back to the studio. Our girls basketball team is about to dominate in the playoffs next week. Lucas and John made a promo to show off their hard work. I can't help but feel neglected. Changing up the schedule, your calendar refreshing. Time pass and we move on. Nobody say where I'm supposed to act. And my mom's in respect. How you supposed to act? With your feelings and protect. You got some checks just to get some, get some necklaces. Or a snatch. Or a table mix. Playing on this plane. Success. Got a taste of it. Like it was the same. Yeah, yeah.
The robotics team, Technical Terrors, competed in a first tech challenge qualifier with 35 other teams at the ALA Applied Technologies campus last Saturday. After the qualifying matches, the team was chosen to be the number three seed alliance for the playoffs, where they would eventually beat the number two seed in the semifinals and the number one seed in the finals to become the champion alliance. Not only were they competition champions, but they also received the Inspire Award, the most prestigious award given to the team that most strongly embodies the ideals of the first tech challenge. Congratulations to the technical terrors, and we wish them the best of luck as they move on to compete at the Arizona State competition on February 17th. Last week, the boys' soccer team beat Mountain Point 4-0. On Friday, they beat Higley in overtime. Freshman Isaiah Ortiz scored the game-winning goal for the Blackhawks. Way to dominate. Emo is a rock music genre characterized by emotional, often confessional lyrics. Omli and I tested this campus's knowledge with a heartbreak edition of What Do You Emo? Sad day, Blackhawks. Welcome to the first ever episode of What Do You Emo? Heartbreak edition. Let's get this. Scale one to ten, how emo are you? Ten. Like a five. Back then, probably a ten. Maybe like an eight now. Okay. So why do good girls like bad guys? <laughs> good girls, bad guys? Yes! Good girls, bad guys. My guess is, it. why do good girls like bad guys? Good girls, bad guys? It's falling in reverse. No clue. No. No? I'm not okay, my chemical romance. I'm not okay, for my chemical romance. That's by, that's by Panic at the Disco, right? Huh? That's Panic at the Disco. That's not Panic at the Disco. That sounds like Brendan Yuri. Uh, Sugar, we're going down by Fall Boy. So that's all I know. I write Sims Not Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. I was listening to that song like last night. Um, I write Sims Not Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Is it King Freddy? Or uh, no? Here's the veil. Is it a match to the lobby? That's Ocean Avenue by Yellow Card. <laughs> That's all for this week, Blackhawks. We hope you have a great Valentine's Day and an amazing weekend. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than any. One that you adore can love is all that I can give.